$43 million in cash found in an empty Nigerian apartment. Poor guy probably spent the past decade trying to share it, but no one ever replied to his email. Ah! Ah! No! No! All my life, all my life, I thought you were trying to hurt me, but you were real this whole time. Hi, good fellas, and if you hate my videos, then I'm here to double down on that. Things won't get better for you, because today we're looking at a subreddit called T-I-H-I. -I. That's short for thanks I hate it, in case you couldn't guess from the title, moron. A cheeseburger is a dead cow covered in its own lactations. This meme looks edited for a Facebook audience, but that doesn't explain why the person who made it had the cow look so damn happy about this information. If they understood English, I don't think they'd be jazzed, man. It just doesn't seem realistic. If you enjoy this video, there will be this big card at the end that takes you to another like it. Also, less than 20% of y'all are subscribed with notifications on. If you sub and hit the bell icon, you'll never miss an upload, and you can always undo it later. This is what happens when you put a penny in a microwave for two minutes. You just made me start a fire in the house. No, no, they they didn't. You saw it on the internet and wanted to try. Listen, I've done that before, trust me, but when it went wrong and I told the fire department the internet made me start the house fire, they didn't really buy it. For some reason, they weren't having that shit. It's crazy how many of these kind of hoaxes have gone around and managed to get the better of people. Like, people used to say to stick your phone in the microwave to fix the bend in it, and uh, it didn't do that. Weirdly, the one that worked is because it didn't use microwaves. When people would get the red ring of death on their old Xbox 360s, they would stick that shit in the oven and it could actually re-solder the stuff inside the Xbox and potentially fix it. Please don't try that, by the way. I can't afford being traced to another act of arson if the dude on the internet who told you to do it is the person that gets charged in court these days. Thanks. I hate Reddit recap. How it started versus how it's going. And he's in a wheelchair now, ship. That's rough, man. Imagine getting dunked on by Reddit. Like, literally Reddit. Not some dude using Reddit. Reddit the platform. I'm not gonna dog on this guy too much. I just want you to notice that this has been tagged with shame by the subreddit. Uh, this is why a mod commented, OP is a lazy fuck and should be ashamed of themselves because they didn't explain why they hated it. Shame, 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 shame. This is a bot so I can stomp on it and not feel too bad. Are you stupid? Like, do you need me to explain what foods you eat with forks and what you eat with spoons? Just take one guess. This robot's a coward too. If you unfold the replies, every single one is deleted. I imagine they were all pretty much on the same page as I was here. Anxiety tip. Next time you cringe over some embarrassing moment you had years ago, try to remember other people embarrassing moments. You can't, can you? That's because you're the only embarrassing human to exist. Everyone else is always thinking about how cringy you are, weirdo. This was genuinely good advice when I was in high school. I was chronically online and in that 2016 to 2018 era of content where it was pretty safe to assume that everybody was out to get you, including yourself. If you got caught being cringe on camera, it was safer to assume that everybody was about to make a video on you. You might even make one in your sleep without realizing nobody was spared. Men, women, children, not even specimens. People were targeted indiscriminately, which was often used as the justification for the targeting. Foundation Chiropractic. Pelvis Presley. Your pelvis says, Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, not a great ad, in my opinion. Uh, just personally knowing what age group Elvis got involved with. I don't think I'd want him anywhere near my pelvis. Much less the skeletal, biblically accurate version of Elvis. Speaking of, now that Halloween's over, a lot of people have decided Christmas is already here. Babe, don't forget to put the biblically accurate angel atop the tree. <laughs> You know, this is a nice compromise if you can't agree to put the angel or star on the top. It's spread out and open like a star, but is technically an angel. And this thing you got with a tree trunk up its ass makes sure nobody's happy. And isn't that in the holiday spirit? Uh, I'm talking from a seasonal depression perspective here. The great ice ball earth theory. Oh my god, guys, he said ice, ice like an iceberg, iceberg, guys! This is the regular flat earth model, and it's, you know, the flat earth. But the real shape of our planet is a big ice ball that the sun melts a hole in the top of for us to hang out in. It's even possible that our planet is just another one of many ponds on the great ice ball. So you're saying the planet is literally a pond and the continents are the pond scum and algae floating on the top soaking up sunlight? Are people the microbes on it or some shit? Jesus, it's like people want to make their lives more insignificant in the grand scheme of the universe. Is being stuck on a floating rock in infinite space with no prospects for your future not hopeless enough for you? You're a goddamn overachiever, man. Congrats. That much ambition, you think you'd have a job by now. If the womb had a window, no one would be able to support abortion. Gotta be honest, if a womb had a window, I don't think many people would be having sex. Like, I love looking at the female body, shout out women, but mostly the outside, if I'm being honest. I'm not really trying to see someone's small intestine while we're fucking. This whole womb window thing could also backfire, and people will just want to see the abortions live and pay tickets for it. And if there's one thing that'll get something done in America, it's profit motive. Thanks. I hate bone cancer. I mean, yeah, I don't blame you. This shit is hard to look at, but infinitely harder to go through. And while we're 
we're here though, I want to make one thing clear. Some people have debated my stance on this issue, but I want you to hear it from me directly. Fuck cancer. And I stand by that. I understand I haven't spoken about this issue before. A lot of people thought I was fence riding, but I stand with Young Thug in court and on this issue. My kids have just discovered that the family sick bowl and the cake mix bowl are one in the same. In my defense, this was also the case when I was growing up. But now that I said it out loud, I realize I need to break the cycle. I won't be taking any further questions. The only bowl you should be puking in is the toilet bowl, man. How the fuck is even like a cake mix sized bowl gonna contain the sick? The tiny trash can with the trash bag in it remains goaded and makes for easy cleanup later too. Also, I can explain this whole thing easily. This person is British. The spelling of defense with a C was a dead giveaway. Thanks. I hate soot tag. And the dumb badger, who is apparently smarter than me, explains soot tags gather after fires in areas with low circulation. They are not, as commonly believed, ash-covered spider webs. I've never heard of these before, but honestly knowing they are at spider web makes me feel a lot better about them. I'm not a fan of house fires as we've established, but my pattern recognition brain makes makes me point and soy face at this pitch black gelatinous mass and go, oh my god, Venom, like Spider-Man, it's Spider-Man. Thanks. I hate their idea of cable management. Guys, it's Venom. Holy shit, Spider-Man. Also, don't judge this too harshly, man. Some dude has to climb that to get into their second floor apartment. Listen, they said it was a private entrance on the apartment listing, and maybe I applied and signed the lease before I saw what they meant, but it's not that bad, guys. I can't bring any furniture up, but it's not that bad. Thanks. I hate this very powerful strip. I don't think I even own enough devices to plug all those holes. Is there a single three-pronged outlet like that on Earth that could actually power the amount of stuff you'd be sticking in there? There's an easy sex joke here, but I'm more concerned that if you tried pushing this power strip to the max, you'd start an electrical fire with it. Why does this video keep coming back to house fire? The fuck are they putting in the Rend Lake water? And it's this fish with Kylie Jenner lips. I'm not sure if I should say this fish has the lips I want. If I went somewhere to get, like, lip injections and use this trout or whatever it is as a reference for what I'm going for, I don't think they'd be very supportive. Probably shouldn't even have hinted that I want those lips in this video. But I already wrote it in the script, and unfortunately, I forgot which button backspace is. When I was a kid, me and my bestie thought we had befriended a sheep in a nearby field because he wouldn't run away from us and let us give him one million hugs and kisses. We called him Albert, and we loved him very much. Anyways, turns out he had a parasite eating his brain. <laughs> oh, come on now. Venom's a parasite, and he could still be your friend. Listen, the sheep might not have been all there, but I'm sure the little micro going Gallagher and his gray matter appreciated the affection. Hey, you were able to tell this story, so I'm assuming you didn't get a brain-eating parasite from the sheep, so maybe the connection was genuine. I swear, people only want to protect animals they think are cute. When's somebody gonna stand up for the fun guy? They're fun, guys! Swimmers, just before the water's surface tension is broken. That's the cum globbed up at the bottom of the condom. What if water just doesn't let you out one day? Uh, I'd die, probably, by drowning, if I had to guess. Garfield comics can be substantially improved by cropping off the third panel. Here's a carrot for your diet, Garfield. You know what to do with it. I certainly do. As much as I love a good cosmic horror Garfield, Field. This cut is arguably scarier than all of these because it implies so much with so little. I'd struggle to call this an improvement though because Garfield is like rat as hell already. It's a hard bar to clear. But I suppose half the charm is what people have morphed Garfield into over the years. I recommend Super Eye Patch Wolf's video, What the Internet Did to Garfield, if you want to see how far that rabbit hole goes. Thanks. I hate the texture my spilled energy left in the sand. Posted by user Salty Burnt Popcorn. Uh, it looks a little like how you describe yourself, buddy. This is has gotta be like looking in a mirror for you. In which case, don't be so hard on yourself, man. You're handsome. I know it was probably a typo, but the way they said spilled energy and didn't specify it was the drink makes me giggle. I like to imagine a diesel-powered locomotive made this post and literally spilled their source of energy on the sand. The oil was just trying to get back home. Hey, perfectionist, this is an 89 degree angle. Have a good day. I won't, but thanks anyways. I'm pissed off because you can actually see that they aren't lying. You can tell the line on the right is just slightly diagonal. I've been thinking about doing a DIY project where I spruce up my walls by adding a few more holes. This has been a great motivator to get on that. Skin transformation. All I did was let my boyfriend nut on my face every night. Between the original photo, her profile picture, and the after picture, the blonde and black in her hair has traded places an uncomfortable amount of times. Girl, I think your boyfriend might just have, like, radioactive super semen with all the shit it's making happen for you. You managed to bag Bruce Banner. Damn. Scientists create liquid trees. A tank full of water and microalgae that could be an alternative to trees 
trees in urban areas. So I looked into these a little more, and they're made in Serbia. And they might look like bacta tanks, but apparently they are more efficient at cleaning up air than grass and trees are. They definitely don't fit the same aesthetic needs, which are actually important for human mental health, but they apparently replace 200 square meters of lawn, and honestly, I'm down for that. If we assume these are inevitable, maybe we can just add them to the roster of green stuff in cities instead of replacing trees wholesale, yep. Our first client, Effective Transformation. We made a total facelift in permanent eyebrow makeup. You gave her that Grinch procedure, huh? There's no way she made an informed decision before agreeing to get this done. Can you name one person who would willingly be the first surgery someone does? Well, maybe if you're for sure gonna die if you don't let them try. And to be fair, I'd want to die after somebody did that to me. <laughs> Anyways, that's all I got. Card I mentioned should be on screen. Anyways, this has been Quite, and I hate you too.